look at this beautiful wig y'all from love me hair if you want to see how we got this look on my mother mama g stay tuned Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Karis K and we have Mama G here again and we're inviting you to stay a while because if you haven't seen by the description box or the title, we're doing an unboxing for some new hair for my mommy. We got some Love Me hair. It came in, how long did it come in? Mm. About two weeks. Yeah. And this is the initial unboxing. We got it in December. It, and we still haven't opened it. We got busy with Christmas things, so. All right, so here's the box. You can do the unboxing, mommy. Very what? pretty. Okay. As um, I've seen on other demonstrations. And because of them and because of people showing us their love me hair, um, I decided to try it, okay? All right, and this is her wig. We bought it with our own money. This is not sponsored. Not sponsored. Okay, so the wig comes in this pretty purple bag. Mm-hmm. Okay, what else is in here? It was wrapped in this, it smells like hair, of course. We're gonna take those out. Oh, it says, enjoy your hair journey from now on. Kalina. Oh, the founder, okay. I love iridescent color. This is an iridescent colored pouch. And it has stuff in there. Mm -hmm. What's stuff in there? Okay, we got some bobby pins. Always need bobby pins. Always need some bobby pins. Edge brush. We got another. Wow. We don't got to use a toothbrush. Toothbrush no more. What's this? It's like a headband with wire in it. Oh, um, I guess so that we can uh, tie those ends down or something, huh? It's not going to tie the ends on the Oh. Head. It's literally a piece of fabric with wire in it hmm. i mean like it moves it's probably just like a head man but okay. it looks really cute too. okay different ways i can i can wear it we have a love me um what's this called a barrette uh, or clip clip, clip. So, you know advertisement of course <laughs> nothing wrong with it oh here's the hair band that we can attach and they have tweezers to pluck it. Wow. Very they nice. They some tweezers. Then it has a wig cap. Wig cap. And then it has the return refund policy, FAQs, how to care for your hair and your wig. That's very How handy. to use your hair and wig. That's nice. So let's open the hair model. Okay. Wait, what kind did we get? We, we, we got the... Why wouldn't it say it? It don't say what kind you got. I forgot. Uh, it, it was, was some kind type of, of body wave. Right. It was. It was not a real long one. Cause my mom likes curly hair, so we wanted something that'd be easy for her to just put on, and it'll be curly. It already has a band on it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Take it out the net. Show the hair. Show the hair. Pretty. Okay. What are your initial reactions, mom? It's pretty. I think I'm gonna like it. Oh, it's a bob. Yeah. I think we did. We did 12 inches for sure. Mm -hmm. The part in space, it's pretty cool. It could be a little bit longer, which we can make it longer, but it does stop kind of short. Just a little bit, but it's not too bad. Yeah, that's fine. You like this curl? Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. This would be a side part. Right, that's see. what I wanted was a side part. Okay. We should wash this. See how the curl pattern comes comes back, or maybe not. How much do you pay for this? One forty? Oh no! I don't think it was. It was like one twenty, cause it was like one thirty because we kept getting sales um, during the time of we got one gray strand here, oh, a blonde strand and a short blonde strand. You can see it right there. Is it shedding? No, not for real. I do the shedding test, mama. Okay. Oh, we got some shedding, which I heard that was like normal for curly hair, but we didn't even do any plucking or anything. You can see it 
see the hair it look like. Is it a lot? I can see it. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's shaking a little bit. Okay. And that's something that people be looking for. Like, is it shedding? People don't really like it to shed. And we gonna tell you the truth on this one. That's right. Because I invested too much. This is the most I've ever paid for a wig. So we I have for a wig. Too. Right. So I'm expecting high expectations. Because everybody be talking about them. Right. And it's like, it's shedding. But I mean, it's thick. It's full. It is thick. I like that. And yeah, here's the back. It has adjustable straps, uh, an adjustable strap, and one that came with it. And it has combs. Mom wants this to be a glueless wig. Um, are the knots bleached? I don't think the knots are bleached. But we'll see they how they pretty look. good though. Yeah, they look fine, but we'll see how they how they go. Mm -hmm. All right. So we'll come back when we're installing the wig. Mm -hmm. See y'all soon. Soon. Okay, y'all. So this is me going in to wash it. But before anything, I ran my fingers through it. Look at all this shedding. I did very little tweezing. When I say very little, like very little tweezing. And all of this kept coming out. And I didn't understand why I was so much shedding. So that's how it looks wet. The back was way curlier than the front. You can kind of see that on the left side. Um, I just co-washed it pretty much. And the curls look really good while they're wet. And this was some more of the shedding. I only took a little video of the shedding. So here's the wig after it's dried. I always put some mousse in it and that's Mama G. We're gonna go in and put on those wig caps. And look y'all, she is so funny. She's talking about how tight it is. But look at this. <laughs> Squeeze my brain. Do you see the problem? Right. My hair is in the in in back. Mm -hmm. I can't stand to see people's hair stick out from under their wig. So obviously I didn't even see the problem yet, but as you see I have two wig caps. So I go in and try to fix it by cutting the hole of the top of the wig cap till I finally realize what really happened. See look, I'm gonna be like, wait, what's going on? Look, listen to this. Actually, it's two wig caps on. Oh, that's why I see two bands. Don't show it on there. And yes, you know I had to show it on there. So, now we're going to go in and try to just cut the lace off the wig. I don't know what it is about wigs, but the cap is always too big. Um, I thought it was just for my head, but obviously it's for my mom's head too. Um, we just basically go through and cut around the ear, try to move as much hair out of the way as possible. So it can help eliminate on how much shedding will occur if you accidentally cut too much hair, if that makes sense. So I go in and I make sure I have the first ear. So the first ear is done and we're going to keep tugging and pulling on the wig to make sure it stays in place because you don't want the lace to be messed up or lopsided or anything like that. Now I told y'all the front curls are a little bit more loose and scraggly than the back curls and you're gonna see the back curls in the upcoming clip it's gonna be so funny but after i get the other ear done i'm going to go around the front and use a razor that my friend kira shout out to kira she got me these eyebrow razors and they're pretty sharp and they do well for lace fronts so you don't get that straight clear cut that you would get with scissors so i just continue to do and use the razor very lightly around the edges. You don't want to do it too hard, too light, you know. So yeah, we put water on the hair to help fix those curls. And just kind of liven them up a little bit so that they can be more curly. Since this is natural, real human hair, it's supposed to go back and curl like normal. But y'all, so my mama had to put on the wig again for some reason. And look what happens. She talking on the phone and stuff. And boom, she puts it on. The curls look good, but it's on backwards. <laughs> Yeah, you know. You, you put it on backwards. <laughs> put it on backwards. <laughs> so we put the wig on right, and this daggum cap just kept messing with us, y'all. So I know you can usually use got to be glue spray, or you can use Gorilla Snot on your wig caps to help um, keep the wig cap down. But we just didn't have that time, and my mom doesn't really like stuff like that. She really wants glueless. She don't want no extra stuff. Just put it on and go. So we just kept pulling it up. After a while, I think we just took it off. But as you see now, I'm 
starting to part the hair in the way that my mom wants the style to be she likes the side parts but as you can also see underneath the cap is still folding up so that's why we take it off eventually so the wig does come with combs but it would not go through the wig cap underneath and the way that the wig is constructed um it is not the type where you can put stuff through like bobby pins so now i'm just going through trying to get little baby hairs when i have side part wigs i really like to have hair on the side like not like a sideburn but like big edges if that makes it like a little swoop that like just makes it look more natural to me cover up the lace and all that good stuff and you see I'm using my edge brush to do so I'm also using mousse and edge control to help keep it down and if it doesn't stay down while you're doing it it's okay because you can just use a scarf at the end and it will all look great and molded so I go through with my razor and I make sure my baby hairs are small enough if your baby hairs are too long it's not going to look right and that's kind of why I struggled at first um as you can see it looks pretty fine but if it's too long you can either make the baby hairs go up towards the hair cut it off again or just have some long baby hairs but that's look none of my business so you can do whatever you do so I found that mousse helps a lot with holding down the hair um but only if you have a blow dryer or something like that to help keep it dry and have it dry and stuff like that so I I realized as I told y'all that my baby hairs were too long so that's why I'm going in and cutting it more and more the baby hairs go a long way the short baby hairs do so I'm going in with some more mousse like I don't want it to be too hard with the edge control which is very possible and does happen very often but yeah I'm just pretty used to seeing people who have closures and frontals use mousse to help lay down their edges and then it's not supposed to be hard so that's what I did and like I said I like the big swoop on one side and the baby swoops on the bang side <laughs> it just looks more natural to me so that's how I did my mom's I'm gonna go in with some concealer to just help out the parts because I don't really think the knots were bleached but it was pretty much see-through so it looked pretty natural already but to make it more natural and to blend in with her forehead to make it a natural part I'm going in with the Smashbox concealer and that's the finished look so boom we're gonna use a scarf to tie this baby down and show you the end result thank you guys for watching please subscribe to my channel turn the notification bell so you know every single time that i post i hope this video was helpful to you if it was give it a big thumbs up and follow me on instagram at i am karis k gamble thank you all for staying a while and my mom mama g she is looking good y'all check this out right here Ooh.